this is Pagun again from Webotep Academy. So in this video, we'll be learning how can we insert data into our database directly through our application. So let me open my codes. And uh, here is the database.php which we have recently created. And now let me go to register body. Here I will open php tag. Okay all right uh, let me do one thing let me go to google chrome and uh, open w3 schools and now i'll be creating in this option mysql insert data since we are using a pdo so we will be copying this code and we can simply paste it here all right and since we have already created database.php file we don't have to copy all the codes we can simply remove it and remove it from here as well all right now now let me go to this uh, file and reload this page uh, now we are not able to see okay we are not able to see this register page so here i have to include the database file include database dot php file here let me reload now we can see connected successfully we have to comment out this code so let me check now and now the message has been gone all right okay so now let's go to our database and create a new table called users and uh, we will be creating five values the first is for the id then for the user email then for the user password then for the user mobile and then for the um, sorry for the id username user email user mobile and user password so we need five columns the first column is id and the length of this column will be 11 and type will be int yeah, integer and i will be checking on this option auto increment then we will be creating username the value is text user email the value will again be text then we will be having user mobile the value will again be text and we will also be having user password and the value will also be text so we will be assigning null values here save okay we have username user email user mobile and user password so let me copy sorry let me copy the name of the database and use it here now username i'll be replacing user email here then user mobile comma and user password user password okay and here i'll be assigning some dummy values like pavan here user email is pavan at the rate we bought app dot com now user mobile is something like uh one two three four five six seven and nine ten and and user password is like one two three let me save it and let me remove this page okay now here i can see that value which we have used here uh automatically got uh, got uh, got inserted in this table so now what we'll do we'll be saving the uh, values from this form and insert into this database all right so now let me scroll this page and we have already defined the method of this form as post okay here is the your name your email your mobile and password and here the name is confirm password earlier we were using it as a href or as a link okay as a hyperlink sorry now i'll be removing this line from here and instead of hyperlink i'll be using a button okay so let me copy the same class same name or same value and here i should also use a name like submit submit all right 
now I have to use one new condition if is it bracket start dollar post equal to submit and this submit we are using this value from here all right so if this condition gets fulfilled only in that case we will be inserting value in our database okay this is done right so let me try it again enter and let me see if the value got inserted here and we have not seen any new value that uh, got inserted in this table let me click on register now and let me check here the a new value got inserted in this table so the new value came from this section okay now i have to create the variables the first is for unit username equal to dollar post okay dollar post and let me find out the name name equal to your name your email your mobile your password user password and confirm password okay so i'll be copying the name of email as your email then the name of mobile as your mobile then the name of password as password sorry password and the name of confirm password as confirm password all done now here let me copy this variable and insert it here user email and this way user mobile and user password all right let me read the page your name ravi your email ravi at the red mobile number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then password one two three and confirm password one two three register okay let me check here the new value got inserted in this table in the next video we will check whether both these passwords are same or not if both the passwords are same then we will be inserting that value in this table okay and if both the passwords are not same here we will be displaying a message just below this line that password and confirm password is not matching and the next thing which we will be doing is to encrypt this user password instead of using it as a plain text we will be encrypting this password and save it in this database Thank you for watching this video and consider subscribing this channel for future updates.